Hey brother, just wanted to let you know I'm about to start my first client campaign. Wanted to say thanks for all the help along the way. Wouldn't be here without Lee Jin Yu. If I get them each 10 calls a month, I'll be making 5K a month, which is more than I make at my nine to five. Kind of crazy how good this business model can be when you stick to it. And that's exactly what Elliot, who was working at nine to five, he just graduated college, said to me earlier this year after he started his Legion agency. If this applies to you, if you're working a nine to five, you're in college, you're trying to make Make money online you're going to want to keep watching this video because i'm about to explain the in-depth framework on exactly how to start this business and escape the rat race so that you could live life on your own terms now in this video specifically i actually want to talk to you guys about how to find your niche in 2024 and it's actually just very simple there's two methodologies that i like to kind of talk about when it comes to selecting your niche and number one is the leverage principle and number two is like the spray and pray approach what the leverage principle is is essentially leveraging your past experiences knowledge whatever you have that pertains to a specific B2B niche and then using that to select your niche. So let me give you an example. Before I started my Legion agency, I worked at a nine to five as an SDR, which is a sales rep. I was cold calling, I was cold emailing and I was pretty good at it. I understood the jargon. I understood like how the sales process worked. My first ever client who I ended up getting was also a B2B SaaS company, right? Because I already understood their jargon. I already understood their pain points, their desires, what they wanted and how their sales process and sales team worked. So I applied the leverage principle when I started to do outreach. So I basically took my past experience and wisdom in that B2B SaaS niche, and I used that to do outreach to clients and saw my first client. That's exactly what you guys should do when you're trying to find your first client and you're trying to find out what niche to go after and you don't know what niche to do. Everyone always asks me, what's the most profitable niche? What's the most profitable niche? The most profitable niche is the niche that you have the most understanding of their pain points and you could put yourself as the bridge from their pain point to the solution Solution, you could position yourself as the bridge between those two things, their pain point and the solution. You could position yourself as the bridge between those two things. Okay. That is going to be the most profitable niche that you can be in. Now, number two is the spray and pray approach. When you first start your agency, you don't want to be picky and choosy. Okay. With what niches you want to work with. You want to work with multiple different types of niches. You could work with B2B SaaS, marketing agencies, consulting companies, food service companies, you know, retail companies. There's so many different types of B2B to be niches out there that you can work with that you can get experience with so don't think that there's just one that's better than the other there's so many out there and you should reach out to all of them so that you can figure out what works best for you and then what you can do after that now you can start to scale because you could use that client as leverage to get more clients so let's say that I work with that B2B SaaS company, right? And I got them good results. Now I can reach out to other B2B SaaS companies and say that I just got results for this other B2B SaaS companies. And it will be easier for me to get that client because I've already gotten results for that other client. So the reason I just read you guys that message that I got from Elliot, who's my student in my program, is because he was having the same exact problem, okay? He didn't know a niche to go after. He didn't know where to start. And I told him, just apply the knowledge that you have in a specific area from past experiences into a specific niche but also use a spray and pray technique at the same exact time. So you can do both simultaneously. Don't think that you have to just go into one. You could test campaigns where you use the leverage principle and then you could test other campaigns where you're testing the spray and pray approach. You should be doing everything possible if you're a beginner to get that first paying client. And Elliot took this knowledge that I gave him, took the advice that I gave him, actually took action on it and signed his first three clients within 90 days. That's the power of having a mentor, having a roadmap and learning from people who who have done the things you're trying to do. So guys, if you made it to the end of this video, that means that you're actually serious about having an online business. So I applaud you, I appreciate you. Go out there, do the work, and go get what's yours. Like and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you in the next one.